Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pool of Radiance for the NES. So, um, I sold a few items, like the quarter staff, had some things identified. Um, the bracers that I got, I sold them because they don't seem to do anything. And, um, I trained my, um, Nick and Goldleaf to be level 6 fighters, which is the max. So I think all they need to do is be level 5, I think, mages. Let's see. Level 6, I'm sorry. Um, and then that's it. And then, of course, I need to train Gwydion, and I need to train Steve to be full level. Um, so, we cleared all the blocks, I believe. So, let's go and see what the council clerk has for us. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. I hear you annihilated the monsters of Portal Plaza. Take your reward. Thank you. I hear you cleaned out the Cordorna Textile House, which is the only time they refer to it as the Cordorna Textile House in this version of the game. Take your reward. Now we'll give you your commission. I have no missions for you now. Um, and also a little east. I don't know if it's an Easter egg per se, but um, if you go back. What's the matter? Have you left anything? Uh, of course, still can't go through these doors. Um, we're going to be coming back here later, though. But for now, let's go to Valhavo Castle. So to do that, we're going to board a boat. Yeah. Well, there's two ways we can do it. We can either go through the slums. I mean, we could go there by um, going west through the slums. And then kudos to Polo Plaza since we cleared the block so there's no enemies there. But I think it's easier to just pay the five gold pieces. Plus time is of the essence here. So, <laughs> yeah, um, got some mustache here in my mouth. Yeah, because I just trimmed it. Okay. Of course, you guys can't see my beautiful mustache because my webcam is broke. Hoping to get one Friday. Okay, so we're gonna enter in here. Um, you can rest here uninterrupted, um, unless the alarm is ringing, which can be set by you. <laughs> now let's go in here. Um, you want to search all these rooms because some of them have some treasure in them. Uh, but it doesn't look like this thing, this room has anything in it. In fact, you, can, you might as well just keep the search mode on. I mean. Anyways, um, you go into this room. A woman washing clothes says to you, You don't belong in this castle. No, I'm gonna pick Gwydion. He's always the talker. Um, I w my character w doesn't really talk much, so <laughs> I would not be picking him. Actually, let's let's make my guy talk. Let's make my guy talk. Let let's see what happens. Please do not harm us. I'll give you some clothes. Disguise yourselves with these. I won't tell the guards. Um, if you refuse, then I advise you to leave before someone finds you. Leave. Um, can you go back? Oh no, okay, so it's a one-shot thing. The woman helps you into the clothes. I won't tell about you. Be careful. Um, you can find her. You tie the woman up and she screams, Oh no! I said I won't tell anyone about you! You leave the, whim the, you leave the woman grumbling behind. Her irate muttering fades into the distance. Now, um, in the computer versions, it's actually a, a few women. I think they're like half orcs or something. But, um, again, the computer version's text is more detailed. I assume they watered it down for this version, so people didn't know the exact adventures journal's text. Uh, adventures journal text. But, um, most likely it was either that and or it was just for space constraints. Um, that's another entrance into the castle from Stojano Gate. Uh, well, f we're not going to go through that gate just yet, um, because we haven't explored everything here. Um, a smith and three fire giants are forging armor. There are arms and shields stacked in the corner. The smith doesn't seem to notice you as he works. Wait and see. The smith ignores you and keeps working. Okay, so it seems, uh, go nearer. The smith stops and looks at you. What do you want? Nick, um, do Sly. You have such skill. You should be the boss's personal smith. 
Um, okay, so in the computer versions, when you when you parley, like, you try um, nice or sly or whatever, um, all that happens is the guard says, everyone knows, wait, or everyone knows that, wait a minute, you don't belong here, something to that effect. Here, they actually, they actually tell us you what your character says, so that's pretty cool. You have such skill, you should be the boss's personal smith. I've been serving Tyranthrox for a long time. If you don't know that, you must be strangers. Okay, so we have the Fire Giants. These guys are one of the nastiest enemies in the entire game. They, of course, as you can probably tell by their name, are resistant to fire spells, or fire based spells, and they um, take a lot of hits and they deal a ton of damage. Now, you see, I just hit him for 22 points. That was awesome. My only advice to you here is to use Stink Cloud. Um, or you could also use uh, Fire... Well, not Fireball, um, but Haste. Um, when, you're fight when you're fighting Giants, I highly recommend Haste. And, of course, Steve can't hit any freaking thing. Um, the Smith... Uh, what is he, a 4th level fighter? Yeah. I would try to just uh, Stink Cloud him or uh, Hold Person. Let's see if we get him. Alright. Um, hang on a minute. It says, oh, it says like there was a bunch of crap running in the background. Let me try uh, closing out some stuff. Okay. Um, because I want these recordings to be as flawless as I can make them. <laughs> um, so anyways. So, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's take care of the fire giants. Um, I should have casted haste. Yeah, they have 59 points, so you know you combine that with the fact that they do a ton of damage and the hard hit, you know, and you got one nasty foe that you really don't want to tangle with. But on the upside, just wait till you see how much experience you get, because it's worth it. I'm actually surprised that they're missing. Oh, they surrender. Alright, well that's good. Yeah, you can actually get the giants to surrender. There's actually two types of giants in this castle. Um, there's fire giants and then there's hill giants. Hill giants are a little bit easier, but they still do a lot of damage. Now see, look at all that experience. Now, something I noticed too is the computer versions tell you how many experience you get divided with each party member. Um, so like, if you had like two party members in your party and you have fought a battle and got 100 experience, I would say each party member gets 50 experience points. Um, here it just gives you the grand total. Look at all that gold. Oh. Now here's the thing. Um, there's all these weapons here. Now, if you go into this room at night, the smith won't be there and you can just steal the weapons. Um, I'm going to leave everything though. Um, besides, um, actually, I'm going to do something alternate here. I'm going to because, um, in case you guys are curious as to what these things are, I'm going to take all the items. Um, I'm going to go back to Flan, and I'm going to see how much they're worth. That way, um, this is for me, for my guide, as well as uh, for you guys to see. Um, so you don't have to read my guide if you don't want to, but I'd really appreciate it if you guys did, you know? It just would be really nice of you if you did. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, for some reason, parling haughty is somehow different from abusive, but whatever. Anyways, so let's see what um, goodies we got from that guy. Um, I don't think there's going to be any, like, plus four items, I'm pretty sure. So, we got plus one sh uh, shield, plus one chain mail, plus one chain mail, plus one flail, plus one flail. Plus one broadsword, whoops, plus one halberd, and a uh, protective cloak plus three. Um, oh my god, are you kidding me? I didn't save after, oh shit, okay. Uh, well, if you parley hottie, I'm very busy, I can't take any more orders, please just let me work. Okay, um, anyways, I'm going to attack again. Um, let's see if we can uh, use a different strategy here. Oh yeah, let's see if we can use the uh, paralysis wand on the giant. Nope, it's hard to paralyze him. 
I mean, you probably already figured that out, but, um, yeah, sorry. I thought I saved there, but I didn't, and I'm at, I'm at adults for that, um, oh, shit, what did I do that for, what did I do that for, okay, um, Oh wait, and I don't think uh, Gwydion switched his weapons. Uh, let's see. What kind of... Okay, she's got magic missile, we'll just use that. Let's just use the items we don't need. Um, the Cleric, let's move him up. And then we'll use the Lightning Wand. That's cool, we got two of them. Oh, did I hurt my guy? Please tell me I didn't hurt him. Okay, good. But the fire giant hit him, and that is not good. Now, of course, the AI is not a bit lacking in this version of the game. I don't know how it is in the PC version, but basically, like if uh, see, so this this fire giant that's next to the thief, next to Steve, the one behind him won't move around him because he takes up two squares. Kind of a funny little glitch, if you will, but uh, it it is a bit of a saving grace or it's a blessing in disguise all right so oh okay so it looks like the treasures are different each time okay well that's good to know well i'm just gonna take the wand then and that's all i want um all right um this is um this is also like the graveyard you want to take all the treasures before you beat the game or else um you won't have anything or i mean the, all the stuff will be gone when you come back this room is full of coal. Gwydion, this must be for the smith. Um, yeah, look at that. It turns into, like, neon colors. That's pretty cool. And remember earlier in my Let's Play where I said there was going to be another part where we get uh, another necklace? We're about to do that. Um, let's see. I think I you have to have... I can't remember the amount of experience I need to be uh, level 7, so... So this, this episode might, is just going to be grinding and exploring the castle. A lump of meat hangs there. This is a meat storeroom. Yeah, see, so the game actually glitches. Because in the Japanese version, it everything's explained in one box of text, I think. But here's the interesting thing, and it seems to be only exclusive to this version. Um, in the Japanese version, your character's like, Wait, what's this? The meat hanging here is human flesh. Which is funny. Um, I guess that makes sense because, I mean, trolls, I think, eat that. Or not trolls, but uh, giants in this game eat stuff like that. They eat people. You know? So, anyways, so here we go. Um, let's check out this room. There is a shrine to Bane at the back of the room. A cleric in front of the shrine turns and approaches. Welcome. Accept Bane's gift. Hey, didn't we just help you in the pyramid like a little while ago? Man, you already turned evil. This guy's ugly, but if you think he's ugly, look at look at him in the DOS version. He is freaking scary looking. I love it. He's got like these yellow eyes and stuff. It's scary. Um, anyways, let's talk. Maybe, maybe he's got some something to say. Tyranthrax has made this shrine. Don't hesitate. Um, let's talk again. I'm sorry, but we don't have much time. Now hurry and accept the gift. Okay, um, if we meditate... Bane! Bestow your gift on these men. Ah! Felger is suffering from a terrible pain. You are not the believers of Bane. The clerk plucks a stone from his necklace and throws it at you. A fireball explodes. Yes, 57 freaking points, which would not ever happen in combat. So, um, we're going to do something that works in this version, but not the PC version. We're just going to leave. And then it starts the battle without him attacking you. Which kind of makes sense, because he'd probably, like, run away from the fireball. So we got a first level cleric. Alright. Pretty simple battle here, I gotta say. Um, this guy's a bit hard to hit, but as long as you just keep swinging at him, he can't do much damage to you. This is quite possibly the easiest fight in this castle, just because, I mean, these guys aren't very strong. Fifth level cleric. I could paralyze him, you know, use a hold person, but we're not going to do that. 
I know time's of the essence, but I mean, let's make the battle a little bit fun, right? I don't recall how much point, how many points he's got. Looks like he's trying to hit me with like, uh, you know, those like white bone parts that come out of a turkey. Looks like that thing. And he's dying. Oh yeah. 2021 experience. Wow. Look at that. Um, plate mail. Ooh. Wow. Um. Let's see. Okay. Um. Did Felger take the necklace? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So. uh... Now that we've done that, let's um, see what's in the back of... Because remember, the game said there was a Shrine to Bane back here, so let's check it out. There's a podium. There's a collection box. A few coins are in it. What do you do? So we can rob the box. Let's see what happens. Three experience and three gold pieces. You feel that you are being watched by something very dark and frightening. And that is Bane, by the way. Two swords are hung on the back of the shrine. Uh, what do you do? Take the swords? Um, I think they're just plus one swords. So I'm not really going to check here. Anyways, um, basically I'm just going to leave everything alone. You can take the coins if you want and stuff. It won't, like, it won't, you know, be horrible for you or anything, but yeah. Um, actually we should rest up. So now we're in the northwestern quadrant of Valja, Valhava Castle. Because um, Valhava Castle is actually a 32 by 32, or 16 by 16. I mean, it's 32 by 32, but it's it's a 32 by 32 grid, but it's four 16 by 16 maps put together. So, um, find treasure box. Do you take it? Um, God, don't give me a bunch of items, please. Okay, so a jab. Not even a javelin, it's just a jab. Which tells me it's probably like a jab of lightning or something, I don't know. Okay, um, look how much gold we have, holy crap. It's like, um, my dad told me about, I never played Dragon Warrior, but my dad did, and he, he told me about, like, uh, killing those, like, things made of gold, and you get, like, a ton of gold for it, he's like, it's pretty cool. A bucket full of sand is set above the door. Hey, look out! Your party doesn't dump the bucket. The giants hear the noise and attack. The bucket was a crude alarm. Um, of course, if you just walk in there without the look option on, it falls on you anyway. So either way, you're going to have to fight these guys. Um, also, um, trying to remember. Crap, lost my train of thought. Basically, um, if, um, if you go in there without looking, then you take a bit of damage. So these are hill giants. I remember, um, we haven't seen their monster portrait yet in this playthrough, but... I remember the first time I saw it, I I, I crapped my pants. Like it, it, it was such a scary looking thing. Um, before we go in there, though, I forgot to memorize my freaking spells. Seems to be a recurring theme, right? Forget spells and um, so I'm actually going to, since I'm restarting it, why don't I uh, just uh, why don't I just uh, turn off the luck option and see what happens. Yeah, see, so, uh, oh, we didn't even take damage. Good. So once again, hill giants can do some hefty damage, but at least they're, um, they're impervious. Ah, at least you can hit them with fireball spells, so that's nice. 15 points of damage, that's what I like to see. Come on, Steve, they're huge as hell. How can you not hit them. Um, let's use the lightning wand, because I just want to get rid of all my wands right now. So, um, you sh whenever you fight giants, I would highly recommend using haste, because, um, it, as we, I think I used it once, or like once or a few times or whatever, it's played through earlier. And it's kind of like a cheat in a way. It's like it makes the battle that much easier. Although even when you're facing fire giants with the haste spell, it can be pretty tricky. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna haste my characters. So we're gonna we're gonna get older, people. Which in a way is kind of symbolic, because 
I feel like all this time has gone by since I did my last playthrough. That was like, like what was it, 10 or more years ago? Hard to believe. Please say we're ages. Please say yes! Okay, good. So when you get that message, that's when you know the spell is actually in action. So with that said, let's kick some ass. How many people want to kick some ass? And of course there's so many enemies on the screen that we're all flickering. Yeah, look at that. Four a freaking quadruple whammy. Don't you just love that? Oh yeah, I can attack again. Oh yeah. Let's attack this guy. Two, three. Wow, three points. I'm gonna move my thief up here. Oh yeah, and also our movement double too. We can actually move like twice the distance. Um I'm gonna use the, the sling though because I can. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to get that uh, mace identified too. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, backtracking to Flan, just as a warning. Okay. Mm what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to go there. Oh yeah, and since we have plate mail, I should probably give that to Gold Leaf. Um, wait, what am I doing? I want the freaking sling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. Well, let's... Yeah, let's take a chance here. Two points, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have Quidian go to the front ranks here. Yeah. You don't wanna screw with us, Hill Giants. You thought you were sneaky putting that sand above the door? I don't think so. I don't even know how the sand could hurt you anyway, although I heard something about, like, them putting, like, hot sand in there so it would hurt you or something. I don't know. Never heard of that happening. But anyways, there we go. Hill Giant goes down. And I think they have 41 hit points? Oh, I don't know why he said continue. And once again, look at all that experience. Holy crap. But it's worth it. Okay, we're going to turn the search mode back on, because again, there's no... Technically, there are random encounters, as we're about to find out, but um, you don't have to worry about them right now. This is a latrine. Such an unusual name, latrine. How'd your family come by it? We changed it in the 9th century. You mean, you changed it to latrine? Yeah, used to be shit house. You kick the door in and charge into the room. It seems to be in order. And you also forgot to memorize your freaking spells, Nick. Why don't you try doing that? You dumb piece of poop. Okay. We're gonna do that, okay. You kick the door in, charge the room seems to be more. Two giants appear behind you. The giants look at you quizzically. So we're gonna see what happens here. The giants look at you quizzically. The giants look at you quizzically. So yeah, those are the hill giants. Holy crap, those things scared me as a kid. Um, now though, it just looks like Lane Staley put on a caveman's outfit. He even moves his mouth, like, his mouth looks the same as Lane Staley, but... Anyways. Mmm, let's talk. What are you doing here? Um, pick Steve. Sly. You are enemies! Okay. And since there's only two giants, I probably don't even need to use, uh... What are you doing here? Leaving your post? Well... I'm sorry. The giants leave dejectedly. Uh, let's see, did they say anything else? Oh, wait, I read that in the wrong voices. What are you doing here? Leaving your post? Well, I'm sorry. The giants leave dejectedly. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just kill them. I mean, there's only two of them. And because there's only two of them, I don't really warrant using the haste spell. I mean, you can, obviously. There's nothing wrong with it, but I didn't even heal my characters. Ain't I a smart player? Ain't I smart? I'm so smart. I love priding myself on how smart I am sometimes. I'm the smartest guy in the world, you know. I mean, in case you weren't aware. See, like, one of my guys is down, but, but that's just part of the strategy, you know. Anyways, don't get us much stuff, but hey find a treasure. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, um... Well, it's just a potion. I don't think it really matters. Uh, none of our party can take it, so whatever. It's just a potion. I would just sell it anyway. Yeah, that's the hard part. By the end of the game, you're, like, overloaded on so much stuff, and it's like... Okay. So we're running out of time here, so what I'm going to do... I don't think there's anything in here, is there? But I'm going to go back to Flan and see how much the stuff is worth. We've pretty much covered this quadrant. Um, this is a battle you can't really, like, you can avoid it, but you can't get past this guy like in the computer versions. I'm pretty sure it was a glitch or something, not developer oversight. Guard appears from a nearby building. What are you doing here? Wait. What are you doing here? The guard glares at you dangerously. Partly. Attack. The guard rushes to the door and pushes a button violently. The patrols are coming now. What do you do? Now we're just going to leave. The alarm begins to ring. So now we're going to turn off search. So this is the uh, random encounter, which I was telling you. A patrol of humans and giants appear. The sergeant advances. What are you doing here? Excuse me. Please tell me who you serve. Um, and if you say anything but the boss... What? I think these scum are imposters! The boss. Well, no problem. I think. The leader left. Now, believe it or not, this is a random encounter you want to fight later. Um, or even now. Because you want to rack up on experience points. And there's so ma there's only so many, um, set encounters in this place. I mean, there there's a lot of them, but... Still, you're eventually gonna run out of them, and, um... You do not want to face Tyranthorxus until your party is 100% fully trained. So, you want to take that into account. But since we're near the end here of the timeline, well, let's go back to Flan see what we got. Um, I keep forgetting I can just go to New Flan this way. Uh, we'll have to go to the 24-hour arms dealer. And I know, I said I was going to be more evil in my in this playthrough, and I wasn't. But there's one more evil thing I want to do, but that won't be till later. Um, okay, so... I'm going to sell this sword, because I don't need it. Um, hang on, my keyboard shut off, so I can't hear anything now. Um... Let's... Okay, we got to identify stuff. Let's identify identify the stuff. Let's see what we got here. This is a necklace of missile. I'm pretty sure they're all necklace of missile. A mace plus three. Ooh, that's pretty good. Plate mail plus one. Alright, well I think I'll give that to gold leaf. Uh, what about the javelin? Javelin of lightning. I'm just gonna sell that because I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Um, but the splinted mail. Um, and I don't think my Thief could use it. Um, let's trade. Let's trade the plate mail to gold leaf. Then I'm going to give uh, Felger that mace. Um, trade. Felger. Um, sell item. Uh, oh, I was going to trade this to the thief. To Steve. And let's, oops, see if he can equip it. No, he can't. So we'll just sell it then. It's fine. At least all of us have plate mail, so that's good. Um, yeah, see, negative two. I don't even have that. Um, I thought I had plate mail. I don't have plate mail. I don't have plate mail. How do I not have freaking plate mail? I thought we got, like, a bunch of them. Well, either or, either way, I'm going to have to trade that to... Crap, okay, I need to find something to trade then. I need to give the thief something. How about I give him this wand? And then he can give me the splinted mail. I can equip that and that'll make my armor class a little bit better. Oh, yeah, I don't want the banded mail. Um, splinted mail, too, okay, that's better at least. Um, but I wonder, um, if I actually sell that, sell the banded mail first, and then if I buy plate mail here, 
That's crappy as crap. That's not what I wanted. <sighs> Try it again. Okay. Um, buy plate mail. Just want to see if that if it actually works here. Um, equip. So okay, I'm at negative two. So what does plate mail do? One. Okay, so then there's really no point for buying the splinted or we're keeping the splinted mail. So I'm gonna sell that. Um, yeah, this could be a little bit tedious part of the game, but it's not that bad though. And I have way too many wands. I really should just sell them off, but I'm just gonna use them in the in the battles. So, anyways, I've gone over 30 minutes, so I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. God bless and peace out. Take care.